what we're doing here now today. We've got another internal corner to do. So we've got a data mirror, three quart gauge. So what I like to do on this is transfer the level all the way around. That way you can't go wrong. Okay, go to that. Always flip your level round like that. Gives you a true reading. Perfect. That's your quick work gauge there as well. Do up here is do the same again. Send it around here. And then what I like to do then? Just a small level. Use a small level. I'll drag it across from there. From that point to that point. For you who don't know what I'm doing, all this is for datum is to make sure when they come up on that corner and they build that corner up to here, that's their datum, that it all follows the level all the way around. So none of the brickwork's either running up or running down, it's all bang on level. Same here again, fill in the blanks. And then what I like to do is transfer that data, come back a little bit, transfer that straight onto the window. What happens is, <coughs> so that's my data mark there now, good point. What happens is when I put all drill all the toys and you put the insulation on, you cover your data. You know what I mean? So all you do is come up from here. On the corner, your tie's gotta be every 225, 150 mil back. Come off 450. Good quite gauge. And then what you do, you gotta come. 150 and then from there then every your maximum tolerance is every 600 but I like to come about 550 from that point right. we'll do it in here is every 450 here same down here 450 900 Same this end and we'll just call What we'll do is I'll transfer that line over there now because Two two five. Okay. 
here is we've got one there. Two, two, five. Where are we at? Where are we at? Okay, here we are. Two, two, five. For anybody who don't know what that is, that's three cores of brick. Every two, two, five is three cores of brick work. And every four fifty, six cores. Oh yeah, 900. Okay, 900. Let me check. Let me check this. Where are we at? 450, yep, yeah, 675. Done then. That's all I do now. It's come again. Maximum five or well, six hundred maximum on here. Gap wise, I come five fifty. That gives my other timeline. Come up four fifty again. There we go. Four fifty. Nine hundred. Same again on the corner here as well, because the internal corner is a weak point. There's no stud there. There is stud there, but you can't get the time. What we do is have to come down this line. That's where your stud is. See? Hollow. Solid. What I'll do again now, I'll come again. 550 again. And that'll give me my... Because these ties are not staggered. They're all in line. Two two five. Four fifty. Same again. Two two five. Four fifty. Six seven five. Do. Let's come down 225 again, and that's what a tie is. Because what we've got here, we've got course of splits, uh, pistol, sorry, pistol bricks, and then we've got two course of normal brick, and then we've got another cavity driver. Same up here as well. Hey. Also as well, the reason why I'm doing these marks, 450, 450, and on the corners, the internal corner and the corner, I've got them every 225. So when I go to drill my ties, all I do basically is just this. What I'll do, I'll put a tie there and I'll pencil mark it. Same there. You know you got, you got a little hole here for where the knocking goes in. Just like that. See? Okay. In a nice circle. So you don't miss it. Same here. Nice circle. So then when you come to drill your ties, you know where it's gonna land. You know your gauge because you come off your datum. The engineer sets these datums out here. There's another one up there as well on the next lift. You can see. That's all I do. These here. This way you can never go wrong. Once you hit that datum, that's your datum here. This is your guide here. Once you hit that datum, everything from here on up goes gauge. I haven't checked it yet, but I might have to squeeze down 10 mil or pick up 10 mil. Yeah. 
for anyone who don't know, this is this is how you do it. Put your pencil marks. This forms your ties. To be honest, I like to do the ties myself. As you know, once your ties is in, you can't go wrong. It takes a little bit of extra prep time, but it works. It works out better in the long run because your ties ain't going to be low. They ain't going to be high. It's going to be bang on. This is what we're going to. I like to take the extra bit of prep, just to do it right, and you can't go wrong there. And it's not just a case of laying, just laying bricks, you've got to get all the fundamentals in place first. You've got to get your datums lined up, all your, all your ties lined out properly. You've got the same here as well. What to do is do that. Same with that there. Okay. Just a bit of organising. I love to be organised. That's where I'm going to drill into that hole now. Same with that. This is a tech gun and this is a hammer drill. Do them all. Yeah. Got these few to do here. Yeah, but uh, that's how that's how you do it, everyone. When you're on these big high rises, you've got data marks everywhere, brickwork gauge marks. It's not a case of just building a gauge. You've got to hit these datums. That's it. Once you get it all in place, it's just it's like anything else a doddle. doing here is setting our pistol bricks This here, the engineer sets these lines up. So the next line he'll have to set up about four floors up into the air. So when he sets the line, he'll come out or whatever the FOB is, 290, pin it, and then run your good line down. Can't go wrong.
Where do you want to set? Uh, no, I want to put a stack there and then set it for a spot board. A See here? here yeah. Right here. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that's it. You're right, Luke. Now, what we do, stack it out for a spot, as you would. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and then stuck, stick a pile just there, Luke. Yeah, yeah. right there. Well, you're bricking up to that line, that Yeah, that line. See what you do here, Ben. Look. See what I've done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do that the same again. Oh, That's going to be a spot board there. Oh, what, these are, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. What we're doing here now, guys, we're just getting this ready. Getting the free pistol, pistol brick, and then the other two cores on top, ready for a uh, cavity tray. Damn boys. Oh, there you have it. Nice little internal corner built. That here now will be your cavity tray. We've got a blue sock to go in here, fire sock. Um, stops if a fire breaks out, it gives a four hour burn time. So if a fire ever breaks out in that apartment, it'll take four hours for it to break out in that apartment basically. Then from there on, you your uh, cavity tray all the way along. See how it looks. Yeah, it looks pretty square to me. See how that looks from here. Always when you're doing brickwork, always best to have a look. Always eye it. I've got another fun I've got another fact for you here, one for the day. What's 90% of bricklaying? your eyes yeah, there's a fact of the day anyway look for me blabbing on that's that done time to set my time to set these uh, bad boys out again
There you go, easy as that. Always when you're laying pistols or bricks over lintels, always sweep away like that. the back because otherwise it'll just push your pistols forward and you don't want that that'll just cause you problems okay have we got any more pistol bricks can't close a little bit stiff 